going to reference one of the resources he mentioned that it was very enlightening and very uh, and and the really cool thing about this um is i'll put it up on the screen here now this is brought to us by cryptome at way of uh, the wayback machine here and i'll pull this up um this is very interesting because this was written july 12th of 2012 okay so for those of you um that that's uh, 11 years ago y'all mm. so uh, according to my best math, uh, I was, uh, I did go to the government school. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can, mm. but this is very interesting. Uh, and so much of this is relevant because this psychological operation we talked about William Casey and what he said in 1981 about the disinformation uh, program the CIA will know that the disinformation program is in full effect when American citizens everything that American citizens believe is a lie mm. he said that's how they will know that their disinfo program is working and everything that comes from the powers that shouldn't be and the district of criminals and and it's it's just very pertinent in light of this new current thing that kind of fell out of the sky. You know, Hamas attacked Israel and the Iron yeah. Dome thing magically failed, Didn't even though work. it's the most cutting edge <laughs> and all of their intelligence agency somehow failed. And then all this stuff happened and it, and you have guys on the like paraglider, yeah, you have guys on hand gliders. It's such a joke. It's like a, it's a really what? bad it's a really bad diehard remake mm. and it's absolutely terrible. And the fact that everybody wants to get all foaming at the mouth and frothy and freaking out and wants to blow up the world and they want to turn um, Palestine into, you know, a gigantic crispy silicon chip. They just want to, you know, go scorched earth. And yeah, it's just, it's absolutely, it's, it's proof that this manipulation is taking place. Mm. And I thought this was an excellent reference point. And as you, uh, as we go through this, uh, we're going to touch on this. We're going to go through this article and then I'm going to reintroduce something that we talked about quite a while ago, signature reduction agents, which is all part and parcel of all this. But, uh, this opens with point one co Intel pro techniques for dilution, misdirection and control of an internet forum. And so you can just take out the word forum and put in any kind of internet social media and you will see. And then once you are aware of these tactics and techniques, you'll continue to see them over and over and over again in your social media interactions, whether you're on the Twitter, whether you're on YouTube, whether you're down in the comments section, yep. uh, whether you're on one of these alternative um, media platforms. Like, like, for example, this is what I bring up about like, odyssey and gab uh is like everything is the jews and it's all the jews fault yeah and it's obviously you know it's obviously a limited hang hangout and it's obviously it it's all part of what we're going to talk about co intel pro there are several techniques for the control and manipulation of an internet form no matter what or who is on it we will go over each technique and demonstrate that only a minimal number of operatives can be used to eventually and effectively gain control of an uncontrolled forum. So like I said, this can be a forum. This can be uh, the comments section of a YouTube video. This can be an alternative news platform. This can be a Reddit. But yep. we, you will see this over and over again. Um, it happens like every day on our YouTube channel. Every day. Every day. We've been experiencing it for six years. I mean, a great example was the Maui example. The This lady or bot pretty much right. got on there and was like, oh, all the kids are safe. You know, the white hats, the white Spamming. hats. Yeah. And um, then we talked to a lady that's actually been over there and she's like, yeah, they were all burned up. And so. then what I was, me and her got to talk and she was explaining, yeah, you wouldn't believe these comments, you know, and she's new to YouTube and she has a newer YouTube channel. And yeah. I'm like, 
Well, the other thing you have to keep in mind with your comments is that a lot of these comments aren't even real people. Mm. And so there are bots working. And then there's yep. a whole, and that's when I, I told her about, you should look into signature reduction because there's 60,000 people that are paid to do this mm. with multiple aliases. And, yeah. uh, and, and that's just one faction that is signature reduction that we know about. that we know about that's yeah, exactly. not all the ones that we don't know about that's mm. not all the ones that are on the all the other um alphabet agency payrolls yeah with vpns well, and, and with ai nowadays i mean it's very easy for them to have several programs that instantaneously can do that in a matter of seconds so so this first technique and this was more um acquainted and more applied to like forums with like message boards where you could um bump bump a message back to the top to cover up more current and relevant information it's called forum sliding where you would uh go down in the forum and you could hit a bump and push that an older topic back to the top with some irrelevant information if a very sensitive posting that was a, before my day <laughs> yeah that was before matt matt's not aware of the forums nope. and all that stuff no nope. that's basically how the internet started in the late 90s well 94 and then forums started coming that sounds out. like kind of awesome because it's like pre-facebook you could just like you would be on the top but then i guess as soon as a new post would come up but then also people take advantage of it like they're saying here mm -hmm. which is pretty crazy if a very sensitive posting of a critical nature has been posted on a forum, it can quickly, uh, it can be quickly removed from the public view by forum sliding. Mm. In this technique, a number of unrelated posts are quietly repositioned on the forum and allowed to age. Each of these misdirectional forum postings can then be called up at will to trigger a forum slide. So you just casually post pop, pop, these pop. other posts yep. uh, prior, you know, you kind of set it up and the, this is these are what these agents and even I personally know a guy. I personally know an individual. Well, I indirectly know him through another person that absolutely has met this guy. And this guy is an internet troll and he has hundreds of Google accounts. And really? he will, I know for a fact, and I've seen him do this in, uh, in, youtube videos hmm. with multiple accounts and he'll troll himself he's ultimately trolling the person that is posting the video and i've i've watched it happen and i know of an individual that actually yeah. does it well so, so this is very real that's what happened with pure living for life too right this yep. year yeah, same exact thing is yeah. exact same it thing. was like eight trolls but or more 20 or 30 Maybe of them one guy and then it was they found out that it was just one guy. Yep. And that's exactly, yeah, that is, that's a great, they thought it was a group of people against them, but it was only one yep. lunatic. So, so crazy. This technique number two is consensus cracking. A second highly effective technique uh, is consensus cracking to develop a consensus crack. The following technique is used under the guise of a fake account. This is what we were just talking about. A posting is made, which looks legitimate and is, towards the truth is made but the critical point is that it is a very weak premise without substantive proof to back the posting once this is done then under alternative fake accounts a very strong position in your favor is slowly introduced over the life of the posting it is imperative that both sides are initially present presented so the uninformed reader cannot determine which side is the truth as postings and replies are made, the stronger evidence or disinformation in your favor is slowly seeded in. Thus, the uninformed reader will make will most likely develop the same position as you. And if their position is against you, their opposition to your posting will be most likely dropped. However, in some cases where the forum members are highly educated and can and can counter your disinformation with real facts and linked postings. You can then abhor the consensus cracking by initiating a forum slide. So you can double stack these methods. Um, but I have personally seen this done and I've watched people do it. And this absolutely happens. And that's just from some mm. like sociopathic normie person that does it. That's not even on the federal payroll or not that I'm aware of that he's on the federal <laughs> payroll. But he certainly yeah. seems like he's been trained in this type of co-intel pro activity. Um, 
topic dilution. Topic dilution is not only effective in forum sliding, it is also very useful in keeping the forum readers on unrelated and non-productive issues. Now, that consensus cracking, you'll mm. see that very often with all these subjects, just like the Maui children. Yeah. Like we had people coming on and making claim, uh, foundless claims yeah. and using ad hominem attacking and calling people names and different things with no... So I'm like, okay, yeah. What are what are you saying? You're saying that she's um, misled. You're saying she's delusional about what? Like mm -hmm. what? Where? Where's the wrong? Where are the wrong facts? What are what are we yeah. getting wrong here? Uh, you know, educate us, provide us with the facts of where you think this is wrong, and then we can address that rather than just ad hominem and these vague references to nothing. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it ends up being very nothing. You know. Yeah, and it happens a lot. Also, that now listening to that, um, it happens all the time. We get comments um, in the comment section, or we'll get comments on a live stream, and we'll be talking about a specific uh, topic or subject, and then they'll comment something totally randomly, and they're like, and we're like, I'm I'm trying to mentally figure out how in the world. Why are you commenting something so random? It's like, oh, I love chickens when we're talking about kids in Maui or whatever, you know? And it's just like another great example yeah. is somebody's like, you don't think kids get abducted and trafficked? I'm like, no, of course they do. <laughs> we we talk about that all the time. It's a very important yeah. topic that needs to be discussed. But just because kids do get abducted, children do get trafficked during the Super Bowl, y'all. I mean, mm. like it's not even done. It's not, I mean, kids get abducted and trafficked like Everywhere. every day mm. without some cataclysmic event. Yep. Do, will people take advantage of these cataclysmic events? Of course. And these government generated crises to do these things? Of course. Um, but when you're pointing out the facts about a certain thing with evidence of people that have actually been there and been able to talk to those that are affected and get their feedback and then say, you know, it's a complete misdirection, you know, it's like, oh, so you don't think kids are getting abducted? Well, no, of course, you know, and yeah, I'm going to send you a link of a video that talks about kids getting abducted. You know, and it's, just, it's just so, but that's the yeah. level. Yeah. A lot of this is from the Prussian education system, right? This was this, all of this is obviously pre-social media, but it's the level that we've been taught to think or to not think. You know, there's no type of ration. There's no type of reason. There's no type of interaction. It's just like screech. It's just yeah. like, but my hair's pink, my hair's blue, mm. and you, you assign me the wrong gender or whatever. And that, and that same exact process goes for the right and the left of this whole Hegelian dialectic. Um, technique three: topic dilution is not only effective. It is also very useful in keeping readers or unrelated and non-productive issues. This is critical and useful technique to cause a resource burn by implementing continual and non-related postings that distract and disrupt trolling the forum readers. Yeah. Uh, they are more effectively stopped from anything of any real productivity. Mm. And we see this all the time when we'll post a video to provide some information and then some trumpet of Yahweh or whatever, <laughs> he'll post some like yeah. uh, five page war and peace thing mm -hmm. with uh, about 40 bit shoot links that will talk about anything, everything and nothing that is associated with anything that we talk about. <laughs> it's all just vaguely. And yeah. I'm just like, wow. Mm. uh what is going on mm. and um yeah so that's topic dilution we you you'll watch it once i tell you these techniques you'll just watch them especially if you're actually using and managing a social media platform where you get a a ton of interaction you will just see this every time you will see this every time um information collection um information collection is also a very effective method to deter determine the psychological level level of the forum members and to gather intelligence that can be used against them in this technique in a light and positive environment, a show you mind. So 
Uh, so show me yours posting is initiated, you know, and you see this all the time on Facebook and whatever, like, Oh, uh, you know, where people are posting their firearms. I mean, how dumb is that? Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to register your firearms. And, and I, I'm a, I don't believe that firearms that, you know, they are a God given, right? Yeah. Uh, we have the right to self-defense. We have the right to, yep. uh, defend ourselves against tyranny and tyrannical dictatorships and all these things. But why on the why in the world, you know, and some people just um, think at such a low level, they're just like, yeah, well, I, I, you think yours is cool. Check mine out. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you get and it, all it is is an information mm. grab and they'll do it with a lot of different things, not just fill in the blank. guns. Yeah, yeah. Fill in the blank of any type of sensitive information that you wouldn't or shouldn't readily share. And this is all part of that information collection. Yeah. And it is done nefariously, you know, it's, it's, it's rather, I was actually watching this video on YouTube and, um, I guess it's a popular thing, which I didn't know, but, um, on like Instagram and Facebook, when people get their new car, they'll take a photo of their keys and they were able to just get a really basic program and scan the keys and 3d and 3d print it. And then boom, start the car up. Yeah. And on, um, you know, unlock the door or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Even off of like kind of fuzzy, blurry photos too, they still can get that. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to be stupid it's, and it's put crazy. all your information online, mm. you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Well, I mean, it's like the people that are on TikTok. It's like, why are you on there? <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's dumb. Technique number five, anger trolling. Statistically, <laughs> there is always a percentage of the forum posters who are more inclined to violence in order to determine who these individuals are. It is a requirement to present an image to the forum to deliberately incite a strong physiological reaction from this. The most violent in the group can be effectively singled out for reverse IP location and possibly local enforcement tracking to accomplish this only requires posting a link to a video depicting a local police officer massively abusing his power against a very innocent individual statistically of the million or so police officers in america there is always one or two being caught abusing their power and the taping of the activity can then be used for intelligence gathering purposes without the requirement to stage a fake abuse video. This method is extremely effective. And the more so, the more abuse, the more abuse of the video can be made to look. Sometimes it is useful to lead the forum by replying to your own posting with your own statement of violent intent and that you don't care what the authorities think. We get this mm. so often whenever we point out any kind of governmental overreach, tyrannical. Yeah uh just abuse of power you will hear people make the dumbest statements in print and and i'm thoroughly convinced and see this is what we're going to get into with signature reduction i'm thoroughly convinced is there literally one or two people out of 330 million that would do that yes yes uh, yeah. could there be more than that maybe Possibly. are they on my video probably not okay <laughs> um yeah and that's not because I'm smart or anything, but no, I believe that it's most just... of that anger trolling are definitely bots mm. and are definitely uh, signature reduction. And these techniques, uh, you know, they were exposed here in 2012 and they were codified and exposed. These, these techniques have been um, refined and refined. They've had an additional 10 years prior to the hundred years that they took to refine all these things. And these, these tactics and techniques continue to be refined and improved and improved and more convincing. And now, you know, now we have a video of um, a Jewish tattoo artist, right? And she was uh, raped and killed and her legs were broken and she was in the back of some type of ATV or Jeep. And we knew it was her because she had tattoos on her shins and it matched this girl. Even though she had dreadlocks, the, the girl, the body 
in the vehicle had dreadlocks. This girl did not have dreadlocks. And so this video went viral to millions and millions and millions of views on Twitter. And I mean, just repost, repost with all this anger trolling that accompanied mm. it. This is why we got to blow them off the map. This is why the, the, these people are barbaric. They're animals. You know, they need to be exterminated. All this like, like, yeah. look, nobody... Oh, that's political rhetoric, rhetoric. That's left, right paradigm nonsense. Um, our position, we are exclusively against war period. Now, I, I can't even, you know, World War One was a setup. World yeah. War Two was a setup. Uh, Korea, Vietnam, Afghanistan, um, all up. of them. They're, they're all <laughs> Banker bankers. Wars. Wars. Yeah. Innocent people die. Trillions of dollars uh, get taken from the the working man and put and padded in the bankers, they pad bankers, pad wall street, yeah. pad all these technocrats, pad their pockets. It's wealth distribution. It's wealth transfer to the top 2%. So, um, and it's always the same and it's the same thing. And this is absolutely no different. None of this thing about any of this thing passes a smell test. And what's even more interesting is that just prior to the Saturday of this whole thing popping off, um, supposedly, supposedly, Elon Musk was going to sue the Anti-Defamation League, but they conveniently got to bet together. They conveniently mm. had a meeting and they worked it all out. Mm. And the ADL is now uh, advertising on Twitter oh, and good. everything's great. And it was right before this whole thing popped off and now there's all this everything is anti-semitism and if you don't agree with like eradicating men women and children yeah. um then you know you're anti-semitic and it's just it's yeah. so foolish it's so um myopic it's so overblown and hyperbolic it, there's just no because the whole entire thing could have been stopped very easily you know, it's it's incredibly complex. So I don't want to That's pretend like true. it could have been stopped easily. You know, when your government betrays you and allows something to happen to the cit citizenry for yeah. the sole purpose. Because they had, had the tech yeah. to stop at least the rockets. Yeah, or at least the hand gliders, <laughs> the parasailer. I mean, come on, man. Any, I mean, it's a really big... And I know that the writers went on strike in Hollyweird and whatever, and mm -hmm. they took some time off and supposedly AI can do all this cool stuff, but they either need to get a better AI working on some of these tail wag the dogs scripts or something like they need to get better, more talented people. Mm. Maybe, uh, I don't know if a Michael Aquino is alive still or not, you know? Um, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, this is, uh, it's hard to imagine. Mm. And the people that want to just jump, jump on this like anger war train and beat the drum and let's just spray billions of more dollars all over the place. And the casualties will be men, women, and children of both sides, you Correct. know, and, yeah. and we are against the killing of innocent people regardless of whose side it's on. And that, and, and those people, none of those people voted for that. Mm. okay yeah. and all of those people on both sides are being manipulated yeah and i mean if you don't think that like yeah not 9 11 you know there was 19 hijackers and they all died on the planes and there was no you know i mean we we've we've already seen this stuff it's been unearthed it's been unmasked it's been presented and when they do it again and it's the same usual suspects and bb netanyahu who was so excited when the World Trade Center blew up, he was so excited about that. And now, what are the odds that this guy's in place? It's just, you know, this speaks to this stuff. Um, and what we'll do is we'll post this article in the notes for your reference because there is uh, 25 rules of disinformation, okay? And it just goes right down into this straw man, rumor mongers, yeah sidetracking hit and run question the motives mm. invoke authority play dumb i think that these are really good to read through and i listen personally to the cor uh, corporate reports uh video on it 
and it was really, really good. And I think these are just really good street smarts for the internet. So you can identify when it's happening and not get sucked into the trap when they're, when they say something like that and be like, hold up, that's not a real person saying that they're trying to get information, personal information from me out of me and to them to feed the whole system and their game that they're playing, you know? So, yeah. So what we're going to do is we'll, we'll drop this in the show notes. This is just a great artifact for yeah. everyone to peruse. It's excellent. And once you read it um, and you see it, you will then experience it. Yeah. And you'll be like, wow. Yeah. Look, there it is. 